Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thanks for watching our EO Action Mobile video today. Uh, I hope you had a lovely week. We had a fantastic time away, guys, fully recharged, so we're eager to get back into it now today. So what you can see with this patient, lovely lady came through the clinic uh, yesterday, this lady came through, very, very blocked up in both ears, bless her. Um, really having a lot of difficulty with her hearing, a feeling of fullness in that ear canal as well. Now this lady has uh, been to see us historically in the past. She's also been to the NHS as well. Um, and uh, what you can see here is that we've got this very kind of dense uh, collection of very small uh, skin flakes, which are all dried together, uh, some wax and some long skin pieces as well in here. So basically lots of sort of dry skin contributing to this kind of problem. So the patient does experience a little bit of itchiness in their ear canals, which can happen with, uh, with dry skin here as well. So what you can see we've got is the standard size ulna tube in here. So we're just drawing this along uh, the front end of the wax here, just breaking these little bits away, uh, but it's quite firmly compact together so we're going to go in with the Jobson horn here and what you'll see is as we bring this forwards we've got these kind of interspersed layers of, of wax and skin and debris in there as well so as you see this coming away you lose a little bit of visualization there just because I hit the uh, the cilia on the outside part of the ear canal but you can see behind that now we've got these kind of longer strips of skin and dry skin material so we're just taking this piece away here these little chunky bits and then as we go in, then you'll start to see these longer skin pieces just sitting just behind that block of, uh, of wax. So obviously what's happened here is we've almost got this, this layer of skin that's kind of folded over. Then we've got another, oh, do it that way, it's easier for you to see. So a layer of skin that's folded over, then a layer of wax, then the skin's folded back, and then another layer of wax, and all these little bits of dry bits of skin in between. So this is a very much a case of um, unpicking and teasing this plug apart before we can get it out. And those long strips in there are kind of holding and anchoring everything together so we're just working our way down now you can see these sort of, you can see that little layer of skin there at the top of the canal uh, and then this you've got this wax then underneath it so I'm just working on that uh, that long bit of uh, long bit of skin there we are, just slowly sort of teasing and pulling this away. We're going to use the crocodile forceps here. We tend to find with skin, um, if you put suction onto it, what happens, if you imagine this is the end of the suction tube here, as the skin goes in, it vibrates up and down really quickly um, and it causes this really high-pitched shrill whistle. So what we always try and do, or what I personally always try and do, is, is move the skin into a more manageable position and then go in with the crocodile forceps after so we can get a good solid grip on that to take it away. So what we've got now is the standard size on the two back in. We're just tidying up these little tiny sort of flakes, breaking these little bits of, uh, of wax and skin down here, uh, just loosening it all up. But it was quite firmly attached to the canal wall. So this, uh, this patient did really, really well here, an absolute trooper she was. Here we are lifting up from the base. Oh, while we're doing this kind of bit here, I just want to say a massive thank you to you guys as well because uh, I always find it really difficult to take time away from YouTube uh, because I, I'm always afraid to let you guys down by not doing videos and stuff. But your messages were so lovely. <laughs> I came back and it was like, oh, they did. It. it was really nice to be missed. I've got to be honest. But but you were so understanding as well. We really really needed to recharge our batteries. I I, I was absolutely exhausted. And I think you could see that in some of the videos towards the end of uh, the end of last week as well. I was uh, yeah a little bit tired by the end of it, but we're in to go this week. So we've got the uh, the jobs and horns. Sorry, I should say in here now just loosening this this next little bit of wax there we are you can see that piece coming away and then we're just tidying up we always kind of go back in with the with the suction tube if we've used the jobs and horn sometimes you'll leave little bits of debris that have stuck to the side of the canal walls or or little bits that have collected on the bottom so i always go back in then with the suction to tidy those up give me a clearer view and you can see we've pulled a little bit of skin across now so we've repositioned it so we can get the jaws of the forceps around either side there we are, slowly starting to pull this away. And go back in now, forceps again, drawing this down the canal. Here we are. We're always checking in with our patient at this point as well, making sure they're okay, they're not uncomfortable at any point. Uh, the patient did start to experience a little bit of what we call the Arnold's reflex, which is where you get a little bit of a tickle at the back of your throat, um, just because we were working and pulling the skin away from the canal walls. Uh, after about sort of halfway down thereabouts, you get this funny sensation that you get a really bad tickle here, you need to cough. So lifting this base section of skin here, you can see as we lift how far back that strip of skin goes as well. 
And let's get a good grip. There we are. We've clamped onto that piece of skin, which is going to draw this. There we go, drawing it down. It's loosened up the next section now. Let's see if we can clamp onto that. There we go, out that comes. So you can see we're constantly taking away these little tiny pieces all the time. It does collect together to be quite a big amount at the end. So uh, yeah, it's worth, worth the wait to have a look how much actually did come out at the end. It was quite a, quite a lot actually. So when we're looking a bit further in now, we can see we've got this lift of skin right at the front. Beyond that, closer to the eardrum, then you've got this thicker piece of wax. So let's try and work our way down to that piece of wax because you can see that this was going pretty much all the way down to the drum. And then when we do get to the drum, um, there's this much sort of stickier uh, type of wax a little bit further in as well. So it was really forming a, 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 almost a perfect blockage in here. here we are. I've loosened that little bit of skin. Let's get a good grip. Always difficult when you go that little bit deeper in. You don't have as much room to sort of open and shut the jaws of the forceps there. Um, it's always a little bit, little bit more difficult. So we're back in now with the Jobson horn. Let's see if we can sneak over the top here. Not going too far behind it. And drawing this down, you can just see it just chipped the front end on. What I'm hoping is going to happen, you see, with the Jobson horn is when you get these long strips of skin, if you can kind of get down onto those, you can use that as almost like a little sledge and you can bring the whole thing out. We can see we're getting bigger chunks out of there. Uh, it doesn't always happen, but sometimes you're lucky when you do this type of removal with this particular type of wax. And uh, we're just lifting now from the sides. Now with this type of problem, we talk about uh, keratosis obturans as well. Uh, this kind of issue can be a kind of precursor, especially when you've got these long hard strips because you can see how tough this is to pull apart. Now, if you've ever watched any of our keratosis obturans video, which is a specific condition where you get this uh, sort of excess skin debris which kind of interweaves into it, very, very similar, very, very similar to this. And I think if this had gone unchecked, uh, then obviously it can develop into that kind of problem. But with uh, this particular patient here, because they just started experiencing that, that um, change in hearing and that, that little bit of fullness in the ear canal, it hadn't quite got to that stage. Nice long strip there you are of skin. There you go. So that was what was anchoring that last piece in there now. So it should free this up enough. I'm just still using the forceps a minute uh, because there's a few little straggly bits on the side, but didn't come away particularly easy. The risk with a forcep is when you clamp onto it because the jaw is so thin, sometimes it can kind of pull through and, 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 and pull that away and rip through the skin rather than actually pull it out. And uh, lifting now, using the suction to clump all that together. Give it a bit of a wiggle to try and work this out. Now it's on its way. Again, it's so far. Is it going to make it the whole way out? We're kind of wiggling this like crazy to get it around the corner. Out it comes. Sorry, it's just an ambulance going past. I'm doing my voiceover, typical. And then we pull this forwards. There we go. You can see that big big long section there now obviously we took a long strip out but you can see this one's that little bit longer as well and you can see now how all of this would have been anchored down into place it's drawn that last piece of wax forwards so we can just pull that out another long strip coming away there can you see now how I meant that this could quite easily tip over then into, into keratosis obturans? Because you've got all these long strips much, much deeper in the canal. You know, and all, the whole time they're hardening up and hardening into those layers. Typically, it tends to be a little bit, the, the, the skin in, in uh, keratosis obturans tends to be a little bit harder and, and tougher. Uh, always quite a satisfying video to watch if we, if we do one of those. So you can see this one, it's just got to the outside part. It's a bit too big, so we'll just go in with a Jobson horn. Comes in to save the day. Uh, just go over the top, uh, out this pops, so we're going to roll it out into the bowl of the canal, uh, bowl of the ear, I'm sorry, not bowl of the canal. Uh, a little bit more in there, let's drop this section forwards. There'll probably be a few little remnants left behind this, so we'll, uh, we'll probably have to use a little bit of suction just to tidy up afterwards. But doing quite well there, getting all this out using the Jobson horn. There we go. Out that comes. You can see there's still quite some quite big chunky bits in there. Um, very sort of... Um, loose uh, cartilage and skin right at the entrance of the canal. I've always got to be careful when you suction. You saw then a second ago where the two sides of the canal wall as we approached it with a suction kind of collapsed in momentarily. Um, you've always got to be careful when that happens because um, it, you, last thing you want to do is sometimes they can collapse in around the suction tube and it causes a vacuum in the ear canal which is really uncomfortable for the patient. So we always try and sort of hold 
uh, if, if it's quite narrow like that, then usually we hold it open with the, uh, with the endoscope before we go in to get the next section. So we've got very, very deep sections now. The hair does go, don't panic. Uh, and you can see it's all starting to come away from near the eardrum, but look how full that ear canal was. Uh, now this is actually the patient's first ear. There's, uh, there's the second ear canal to clear as well in this video. Uh, it doesn't take quite as long to do the second one, but you can see we're slowly drawing all this down away from the eardrum all compacted right down against that drum bless this lady. So she was uh, really, really struggling with her hearing here. So we're just peeling this last section away from the top. There we go. Off that comes. And we'll take a good look at the eardrum now in a second. There it is, looking lovely and healthy. So uh, the hammer bone points up to the right, so it's a right-sided uh, eardrum there. Uh, looks lovely and healthy on that, so good light reflex there as well. So this is the patient's second ear now. So you can see we've got this uh, very similar story to the first side, this, this uh, very thick uh, skin and wax debris all mixed together. Now because the Jobson horn was quite effective at the very beginning last time, we're gonna go straight in with the Jobson horn here. But as you can see, with because you've got this almost like, um, like a husk of skin around it, as we pull this down, this is what effectively we were trying to do from on the first video here, was uh, use that sort of husk of skin uh, against this blockage. So we're just gonna draw this down, and every time we draw it forward, it's drawing a deeper section down the canal as well. So then we nip over the top down with the Jobson horn, and we bring that next section forwards. There we are. Just slowly, slowly working this down. There we are, as it's coming out then, we've got a little bit of wax there in the middle of it, but you can still see this kind of outer edge, this harder outer edge in there. The reason it looks a little bit fuzzy, I know a few people are commenting, saying, oh, it's a bit blurry. Um, the reason it looks a little bit blurry at the moment is because we're working right behind those little cilia, and they're very, very fine. So the endoscope kind of changes focus slightly uh, when, we, when we're going in. Um, but once we push through those, once we get into that deeper section, and we can push through and it'll be a lot clearer. There you go, you can see it looks a lot clearer now with that back section. So we've got this uh, front section here, which is very low, sitting at the bottom, of the ear canal. This is this layer of skin we were talking about. So we'll get rid of that first uh, so it doesn't obscure our view with the endoscope in a second. We'll just tidy up around the outside edges. There we go. You can see now we've got a good grip on this deeper section. So we're using this up, that's like to say, up and down movement there uh, just to very slowly bring this down the canal. Trying to hold on to it using the suction. There we go. It's on its way. Long piece of skin. Now look at that coming away. Look at all of they're still going. There you go, this long piece that was going right the way down the uh, right the way down the ear canal. We're going behind it now. There's a bit more tidying up to do. There's a bit of loose uh, loose bits of debris on the outside edge, which you can see be taking away. And there's another section there just behind it. So we're gonna lift that out. Looks like it's attached to a little bit of dry skin, so we'll see if we can get the whole thing in one go. There we go. And then if we go back in now. We can just about see, there's another layer of uh, dry skin, there's a layer of wax behind that. You can just see over the top of that suction tube there. So if we can get this bit of skin out, I think it's gonna pull the remainder out with it. So let's see if we can switch to the forceps here. If we're lucky, the forceps will get a good clamp on this. There we are. Ah, but unfortunately it just sheared off, uh, just as we were getting in. So we'll go back in now with the suction. Oh, sorry, this is the uh, force I was gonna lift, sorry, lift this bit of skin off the base of the canal. If it's hard enough, when we get a good grip, it's gonna hold onto the whole thing, but I can see it's just torn away again there. Let's go back in with the suction. Now we've got rid of those bits of skin at the bottom. Let's see if we can hold onto the wax and draw this down without that skin holding onto it. You can see the bits of skin lifting at the base of the canal there and from the top sides as well coming in um, as we're trying to get a grip on this wax. It's starting to move. We've just got our leading edge there. Let's turn this now. There we are. Oh, it's still holding on. You can see how we're picking it up and we're moving it. The front section is very, very mobile. Um, it's very loose, but it looks like it's still connected to the piece behind. So let's see if we can draw this down. We may have to switch tools here. What are we going in with next? Ah, oh, there we are. We're going in with the crocodile forceps. Yeah, it's... In hindsight, I probably may well have gone in with Jobs and Horn now thinking about it, looking back at it now today, uh, but... 
We, oh, it worked well, look at that. Whoa, look at this long, long strip. Look how chunky that bit was that came away then. So you could see that whiter layer underneath. That was that long strip of dead skin. Uh, let's get the remainder out of here. Now, is this gonna come out or we're gonna have to use the jobs and horn on this? Uh, I think that's gonna be the jobs and horn. There you go. So we're just gonna pop over. Sometimes as you're pulling this out, if it's a bit too wide, the suction can't hold on to it. It can't maneuver it around the corner. So jobs and horn's a great little tool for getting in above that. There we go, ah, ooh, <laughs> does one be picked up? There we go, uh, so we've got that piece there. Let's have a look behind it, perfect. Eardrum looking lovely and healthy, little bit of tidying up to do here at the bottom, which we'll do now, but good light reflex there on that eardrum. Patient very, very happy, hearing so much better after that one as well. There we go, ooh, let's see if we can, are we gonna be able to grab that piece? Yeah, there you go. Off it comes. Just had another good look at that eardrum now. Let's pop around the corner. There we are, eardrum looking nice and healthy. Good light reflex there. Uh, obviously that's the left side. Look at that, it's four inches and the light's shining in it so I can't see it. 10 centimeters of wax from both ears. It's a pretty big one. And there were lots of these little pieces, but you can see there's some pretty chunky pieces in there. Uh, and I haven't put all the little bits end to end. I've kind of grouped them together, so I, I couldn't fit it all in the paper otherwise. But it, yeah, a fair old size, a fair old size piece of wax on that one. Uh, well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I did voice you. I've got a little bit of horse now, I've talked too much. Um, but as always guys, take care of yourselves, take care of your ears, and take care of one another. And I shall see you again real soon. Bye everyone.